Hello, this video is going to be about the historical context of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. It's very important when you read Frankenstein to be aware of some of the major historical events that occurred in the period leading up to Mary Shelley's birth because of the fact that her parents were very influential people and the, the factors governing the way that they were raised and the way that they grew up also influenced her thinking. These are some of the key dates that you should be aware of. And this is a picture of Mary Shelley. George I was born in 1660 in Germany and reigned from 1714 to 1727. He married his cousin, Sophia Dorothea, but divorced her in 1694 when she committed adultery. When he was in reign, the power of the monarchy diminished and it was the first time in British history that the Prime Minister became head of government. The similarities between George and Frankenstein was that George marries and married, married his own cousin. Frankenstein also married his cousin. When George I realised he was failing as king, he returned to his home country, Germany, and Frankenstein also done the same when he returned back to Geneva. The British Agricultural Revolution is the period of agricultural development in Britain between the 18th century and the end of the 19th century. The revolution saw a massive increase in productivity, which caused population growth, freeing a huge percentage of the workforce and helped drive the Industrial Revolution. Because of population growth, there was a demand for clothing, products and provided the basis for the cottage industry, which ultimately led to the development in technology. A good example of this is the de Lacy family, who were rich but due to impoverished conditions now rely on the cottage industry and non-human help. The Jacobite rebellions were a series of uprisings, rebellions and wars occurring between 1688 and 1746 and may have influenced the personality of Mary Shelley's mother. They were aimed at returning James II of England back to the throne after he was deposed of by Parliament. They did not agree with his Catholic views, hence he was the last Catholic monarch. He died shortly ten years after the First War, which left his descendants to take his place. George II was king from 10th of November 1683 till 25th of October 1760. He was king of Great Britain and Ireland, Duke of Hanover, Arch Treasurer and Prince Elector of the Holy Roman Empire. He was the last British monarch to be born outside of Great Britain. He left the government under the control of Britain's first Prime Minister, Sir Robert Walpole. This coin is from a Spanish ship that George II attacked. This shows the power of the king's men which links to the power that the creature has by being made of many men. The 18th century saw Britain rise as the world's dominant colonial power. Sparked by the age of discovery, maritime explorations became commonplace. Notable discoveries include the discovery of America in 1492 by Christopher Columbus and the discovery of Australia in 1770 by James Cook. The Kingdom of Great Britain during the 1700s fought against France and other European nations to spread their empire across the globe. America was a main target for colonisation. The East Coast and the Americas were under control of the British Empire. However, following tension from the 13 colonies, Re a revolution broke out which saw America declare independence and Britain lost a prosperous part of their empire. Those, these pursuits of glory greatly echo that of Robert Walton and Victor Frankenstein in the book. The Portuguese and Spanish, followed by the Dutch, English and French, were actively engaged in world exploration. From exploration came colonisation and the exploitation of people and places for material gain. The trade triangle was a way for traders to maximise profits off the enslaving of Africans. The trade was so profitable because the ships sailed full on each stage of the triangle. Many people were making money in the late 18th century, either solely or partly as a result of the slave trade, and the rich invested this back in their houses and possessions. We can see this in Frankenstein by the fact that a lot of the people were wealthy and had fine houses. A British man called William Wilberforce fought against slavery and succeeded when slavery was abolished throughout the British Empire. The Seven Years' War was a massive disruption of normal life right across Europe. Our understanding of Frankenstein is helped considerably if, when we know that this had taken place because the existence of families like the de Lacy's was fairly commonplace because so many people had lost everything they had during these traumatic upheavals that took place as different countries in Europe and across the world went to war with each other. Frankenstein is set at a time when revolutions and wars had made Europe a very unstable place. 
the Treaty of Paris brought this to an end. Technology in the Georgian period would have influenced Shelley's writing during Frankenstein. Electricity mainly would have enabled Shelley to make certain connections with the creation of the monster. This is shown in most scenes when uh, Frankenstein is making the creature. Uh, the hot air balloon was also invented, which showed that the world is opening up, which enables Shelley to uh, venture out into different places over the course of the novel. That's all I've got. Really. Discoveries in science led to discoveries in technology, and new technology led eventually to the Industrial Revolution. The discovery of the potential of steam power to make mass production possible in Britain's factories really reshaped the landscape of Britain at that time. Uh, the massive demand for coal to fuel uh, steam-powered machinery led to a growth in the mining industry and the face of Britain was changed forever, uh, including of course the network of railways. Yeah.